Hello oh, and welcome to Tag Films. Um, today I decided to do something a little different after all of the Minecraft. You guys might be getting sick of it, but I doubt it. Anyways, I'm going to show you another indie game called Project Zomboid. Right now it is in pre-alpha, meaning that it is literally, like, it's like Minecraft when it was in the phase where there was nothing there but you and the blocks were just randomly placed everywhere. So there was nothing that made sense and it wasn't really a game at all. Except this one's actually relatively complete for a pre-alpha test. Yeah. It's a Project Zomboid. We're just going to go through their little tutorial and then see how long we last if we even survive the tutorial. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. It's an isometric game, so it has a very retro feel to it. It's fine, we can deal with this. Just... Christ, it hurts. F, I'm sorry. Right, this is bad. I know this is bad, but we're still here. You're still breathing. be some sheets in here so we can rip to dress the wounds. The idea behind it is it's a completely open-ended zombie survival game. It's not like Left for Dead or anything like that where zombies are just completely ridiculous. So you have your inventory like almost any game. So it's a little cardboard box. Right now we have some sheets and painkillers. And our medical panel. So when you click it, you see just body health. All the other areas of your body divides it up for damage indication. That's the expanded inventory. And you can craft stuff. So for all you Minecraft fans out there, hey look at this. I now have bandage bandages. So... Let's click her. Now she's bandaged, if you look down there, the green. And you can give her some painkillers. Um, and don't try to use one of the pillows in the uh, closet to help her. It, let's just, it's their way of skipping the tutorial. It, it's just, it's not something you really want to do. So yeah, clicking on stuff, and standard movement, WASD, and shift for run. A shed in the yard. See out there. Oh. Third fortress this week, so you get the feeling you've been moving around a lot. Let's just explore the house a little bit. Let's see if it... There's more houses around outside. Let's check the cabinets. This is a very... Since it's open-ended, there's just stuff everywhere. You can do a lot of different things. I'm just going to go out there and grab the stuff to make it the fortress. I don't really see any zombies quite yet, so I guess we're safe for now. Here's a little shed, hammer, planks, 
And nails. Oh, what's that say? I missed that. Okay, so now we can put up and take down nails and hammers and not hammers, uh, planks. Sorry about that. And so what you do, the hammer equipped. Hey look, I can now barricade this place up. And for some of you it's probably a lot like Nazi zombies if if you all know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you do. If you if you missed Nazi zombies then I I'm just ashamed of you. I mean we shouldn't have to show that on here. It's just it's amazing in my eyes. So now we're fully barricaded. Apparently we can break doors down to get more planks. I don't quite know how. Um, we'll figure that out later. First, let's go upstairs. It's getting dark outside. Can't really see much. Is, is there anything else up? Oh, yes, there is. Okay. Um, oop. What's this? Peckish. Have a snack. And you can see out windows if you guys haven't noticed. It gets more lit up when you're near a window. So just because it's isometric doesn't mean you can see everything around you. Just going to sleep. See the clock up here in the corner is moving. Oh, now it's three in the morning. That's that's fantastic. Um, so I literally cannot see anything. What time is it? That's the dead of the morning. It's like what four or something. Four in the morning is like the dead of night, where everyone, apparently it's the most common time of night for you to die. Fun fact! Not so fun in this case. They've been roaming the streets. <laughs> and there's some little humor if you actually decide to read this. see the neighbors till they've taken chunks from you so you know they they know what the zombies do we're not completely unaware so it, you get the feeling we've been doing this for a while she's injured broken leg miss the days when we didn't take a hammer to bed when was that what you guys do, you guys don't take a hammer with you to bed Just run. No man stuff. But, but, but. So yeah, it's, it's very complete for a pre-alpha game, but a lot of stuff does not, is not complete. And, like, they want to add a lot more. There's going to be a multiplayer, which will be amazing in my eyes. I, I will, I'm definitely going to buy this game. You cannot currently download the full version because they were having a problem, some hacker screwed everything up. So now we hold control to attack zombies, it says, so I have a feeling that, yep, there's going to be a zombie. I hear one. Yep. Oh. Panic. Accuracy reduced. Yeah, so there's a lot of different indicators like that apparently that just make us do various things. It's not just a normal zombie game. You actually have to worry about real factors. Oop. Since I'm peckish, I will have a snack by clicking on the heart. I'll admit this is not my first time actually playing, so I know a little bit if you're wondering how I instantly know how to do this stuff. The first time I somehow managed to skip the tutorial without killing my wife. So that was kind of a problem because when I skipped the tutorial the first time I played it, I had no idea what I was doing. Luckily I was talking to a friend who had played it, so I was asking him, oh, can't open it, and a pot. So now we'll go into our little 
crafting table. I don't know what they quite call it. But actually, I guess we have to open the cans first. Or not. Um, let's just let's throw stuff. Oh, cool. Soup. Is it cooked? She said to throw it in the oven. And I'm going to go ahead and warn you. The oven does not actually do anything. If you leave it on, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, no, we'll, we'll go through the rest of the tutorial. I'll, I'll leave it off, just... We'll, I'll, I'll show you what happens in another video later on. And here's the radio. So, Muldrag County. Do not return home where they will be forcibly dispersed. They're zombies, they won't return home. Calm and patience. Um, I don't know how much, how long I can just sit around waiting with zombies after me. A do nothing agenda so the politicians attack each other. That's just, that really helps everyone in this situation. Communication blackout and no fly zone. That's that doesn't help anything. All that does is help cover the uh, government. Crowded streets. Oh, so zombie mobs most likely. Despite it all, the townsfolk of Muldry are living as normal. Yeah, I'm living as normal as I just tear my door down. I don't know if I am actually tearing the door down. There we go. Oh, that door did. Did you guys see that door open? Um, whoa. Um, hey there. Radio. Great. Jack Smith. I thought that was my name. Bob Smith. Bald Spot is his nickname. See the. Take what you need and go. Yeah, just leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Don't do anything to me. Okay, so it's not coming from the guy with the shotgun in his hand. I'm just gonna walk up here. Oh, hello there. How y'all doing? Bit. Her her leg's broken. No, oh, don't be an idiot. Oh, no. Come on. Um, it isn't a bite. It's no. No, you're not. No. She's not infected. He's still pointing at me. Ow. Yep. So, it tells me how long I survived. I just got owned, but hey, my wife's still alive. Yeah, so... I'll get back to you guys with more episodes of this if you guys like it, considering I did not actually finish the tutorial before my face got shot off. Um, yeah. That, that didn't end well. Um, yeah, be careful when 
dealing with men with shotgun pointed at your face. Um, so that that's Project Zomboid. You, you didn't see anything, though, for what it really, what the game really offers. I'll have to do another video in which I don't fail epically in front of all of you. Yep. So, that's all, folks.